Hey BC. So I've been working on this linear tracker for a while now and just about ready to put it back together again. But before I do, I thought I'd give you a peek under the hood on how these things operate. So uh, from a very high level, uh, you have the, the tone arm chassis here. Tone arm goes, the needle is off the screen here. And this is actually two separate pieces. So what you have is a, a two axis gimbal right here. And along that point, this entire arm assembly floats around. And then you have the main chassis underneath, which is attached to the guide, and back here to a guide wire, which has a motor underneath that moves that along back and forth. So the biggest thing to, to take away from this on how these operate, the, the arm basically free floats while it's in the grooves. And when it does, it'll move back and forth as it advances through the grooves. And with that, it's a little bit difficult to see here, but in the back, there's a blade attached to, attached to this, which pivots right here. And what that, that does is as this moves through the grooves, it pushes that blade inside of an optical sensor right here. Once that blade comes through and cuts off that optical sensor, it kicks in the motor and it'll advance the entire chassis along this guide a couple of millimeters. When it does that, it reorients it right here to pull that blade out of the optical sensor and then it's free floating again for a while. As it moves along the grooves, it'll trip that again, rinse and repeat, and we keep going through that. So to adjust this, what you want to do, there's a screw right here what that does is it pulls this arm back and forth along that pivot which will change the angle and where this blade moves into the optical sensor to trigger it. So that's kind of the big thing. So if you need it to trigger earlier or later you would adjust the angle with that screw right there. The only other adjustments of note you have this screw right here which actually is attached to the free floating it goes through that plate and onto the bottom chassis. And that is your tone arm height when it's at rest. So when it drops down, when, when this pivots up and down and it drops down, it's gonna rest on that screw onto the bottom chassis here. So that's how you adjust that. The only other one you really have to adjust is this screw right here, which is kind of on a curved washer spring underneath. And that moves up and down and what that does is this wire right here rests in a groove right in here and what happens with that this is actually the tone arm release there's an electromagnet back here and when it's activated it lifts that up and allows this to drop see so what you want to do with that wire, what that's going to do is while it's going down, that wire is going to make contact with this and it's going to ride it up until a point that it, this will clear it and then it's at free fall. So this is kind of like your Q lever arm and your dampener. So you want to adjust that such that it gets almost as close to where it's touching the record before it drops free floating and then this just lifts off of it. You don't want it too close to where it can't free float. It shouldn't be making contact at its lowest position when this pushes down in. But you also don't want it such that it's so low that it's immediately not making clearance and just does a free fall from its up position to its down position because then it's just going to go thud. Uh, the only other adjustment of note right here, inside of the arm, this screw right here is attached to a counterweight on the inside. And you simply slide it back and forth and that, that works against this counterweight here, and that's how you adjust your vertical tracking force. So these oper operate a lot differently. Like I say, the biggest thing to take away is this optical sensor and this blade right here. That is kind of key to get that situated so that the timing is correct, that the whole, ch the whole chassis as, a, as a one unit moves along this guide properly and still allows the arm to free float. So. That's all we have for today. I'll see you on the flip side.